answer this question. When is it important to conform and when is it important to be an individual? Go. What really drew me to teaching is that creative aspect of it and the idea that even though you may see the same lesson uh, five times or maybe even five times in one day, because it's a different set of kids, it's always made fresh for you. Which is more important, what you know or what you feel? Go. So if you come into a classroom that I'm teaching, you're going to see three buzzwords I like to think of, active, creative, and social. I like to think about designing experiences rather than planning lessons for students. So I like to think of my classroom as always having this idea of something that's a very active, engaging place with everything that we're doing having a purpose for something that might actually be used outside of the classroom. Rank the five senses in order of importance. When we talk about 21st century skills, we don't mean just throwing a laptop at every kid, but really teaching students to analyze and think critically about what they're going to see on that screen. So you try to do just goes like this. Yeah, yeah. This is like more warm and it's friendly. inviting. It's like I stand on the shoulder of giants. I have learned from master teachers my whole career and hopefully tried to share some of that information back. So the opportunity to serve as a charter school teacher of the year and then to work with the other regional teachers is something I'm really looking forward to. We really are all rowing in the same boat. So every teacher wants their students to be successful. Every parent wants their child to come to school and be successful. Every school principal wants that success. So when we can work together to look at how we can solve those problems, recognizing that we do have those same goals of success, I think is where we can uh, work better together as teachers in North Carolina. More interested in the five senses, trying to paint pictures for you and talk about the individual unique experience in romanticism.